Planet Dolan. We often try to look our best when we walk out the front door, but it's hard to keep up with every trend. But what are some fashions that we all ended up hating? And when did the designers go too far? Here's 15 fashion trends that offended the world. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. Low slung jeans. A lot of the time, fashion ends up just doing the opposite of what was popular before. While the late 90s saw a return of flared pants, tight at the thigh and loose at the ankle, this decade has reversed that. Popularized by Justin Bieber, among others, many people wore skinny jeans that are tight on the calf but with a low baggy crotch. It looks a bit like you shit yourself in leggings. Number 14. Lip implants. Around 1900, surgeons were already trying to give lips a boost by injecting them with paraffin, but it never really worked. Probably a good thing, as a hot meal could set your face on fire. In the 60s, it was silicon, and now the most popular is bovine collagen, meaning it comes from cows or transferring fat from somewhere else on your body. In the US alone, there were almost 30,000 lip surgeries per year. However, if it's slightly overdone, then you end up with bloated fish lips, or a trout pout as it's sometimes known. Number 13. The mullet is often referred to as business at the front, party at the back, but it has to be one of the most universally disliked haircuts that has ever existed, and the name has an interesting history. Mullet-headed had been an insult for a couple of hundred years, even referenced by Mark Twain. The haircut was actually named by a legendary hip-hop group, The Beastie Boys, on a track called Mullethead. Ad-Rock describes it clearly, saying, Cut the sides, don't touch the back. Seriously, it's in the dictionary that Beastie Boys created the term mullet. Number 12. Fur coats. In the old days, animal skins and furs were one of the only things you could wear to stay warm in winter. However, now that we can make textiles from coconut husks and, this is totally true, fermented wine, we clearly have the technology to make amazing fabric without all the animal murdering. Many countries in Europe now prevent farming animals specifically for fur, and for certain species, the fur is banned completely. And mostly, when you see someone wearing fur, you're just like, wow, you're a fucking monster. So that's usually a good deterrent. Number 11. Socks and sandals. If you're wearing a white sock, there are two things you can't put on next. One is a black shoe, you're not Michael Jackson. The second is a sandal. Socks and sandals is a look which says, I have given up on my appearance. I'm a loser. Just kill me. Surprisingly, some studies have found trace fibers on Roman sandals, which suggests that the world's most famous sandal wearers may have begun this horrific combination. Thanks, guys. Number 10. Louis Vuitton were one of the first companies ever to use a branded material. They started out making travel cases and used brown and beige stripes, and later their famous monogram to help customers identify their product. But ironically, their brand is now the most faked in the world. So those wallets and handbags have gone from being a symbol of exclusive wealth to being associated with celebrity and cheap holiday knockoffs. Number 9. The Ramones were a hugely influential punk band active from the mid-70s to the mid-90s. And although they were quite a big band, this isn't why you see the t-shirts all over the world. Recently, major fashion retailers like H&M have started selling massive quantities of band t-shirts like the Ramones and Nirvana just for the design. There are plenty of kids out there wearing one who have no idea who the band are. As you can guess, true fans are pretty annoyed by this. Number 8. An orange tan. In much of Europe and North America, tanning salons and fake tan creams are an enormous business as people try to cheat their way to the perfect summer glow. It used to be that tanning was a sign of poorer outdoor workers, but this changed after the growth of air travel in the 1920s and 30s and through icons like Coco Chanel. Fake tans first appear in the 1950s and are still a growing market, despite the many orange disasters you see walk in the streets and occasionally, you know, running countries. Number 7. Cultural Appropriation The great thing about fashion is that it can take inspiration from anywhere and anything. The not so great thing is that it takes them and hands them over to wealthy white westerners. This year, Chanel released a boomerang. It costs 2000 bucks, despite the fact that it is basically a fake version of traditional Aboriginal art and culture. The Maasai tribe had a similar issue with Louis Vuitton in 2012, since they copied Maasai's style, but without offering any compensation. Number 6. Jumpsuits for men. The 70s were a strange time for men's fashion, with trends like wearing a belt over a knitted sweater, or having a collar so high it looks like you're being protected from vampires. 
worst of all has to be the male all-in-one jumpsuit, unless you're flying a plane or doing maintenance, please have the top and bottom of your clothes separated, guys. Number 5. Zara create new designs in a fraction of the time of most other brands. This means new clothes are hitting the stores all the time, which is part of the reason for their success. But some items could have done with a bit more planning. It was supposed to have been a fun, Wild West feel with a sheriff's badge, but a lot of people saw it and wondered why Zara was selling a Nazi concentration camp outfit, complete with a Star of David. Awkward. Number 4. Adidas Shackles. Another similarly insensitive step came from this company. A new line of basketball sneakers were due to be released until someone pointed out that the fun yellow plastic shackles that come attached to them might not go down too well with their black audience. You know, s slavery? Number three, the flash thong. Nude beaches exist so people who want to be naked at the beach can run wild and free. Nothing wrong with that. But this nightmare piece of swimwear, very sexily named the Ultra literal flash thong is so much worse than someone being naked. Even Paris Hilton was offended by the sight, tweeting a picture with the hashtag, is this a joke? Number two. Colored afros. Fashion magazines and catwalks are never as representative as they should be, with the majority of the models being very thin and very white. But when Vogue had a white blonde model called Gigi Hadid on their cover in 2015, they put in an afro in every shot. And the question is, why? Number one. Giant fur keychains. There's nothing wrong with accessorizing your bag, and there's nothing wrong with keychains. But not when the keychain is bigger than the bag. At that point, you're likely gonna forget which one contains all your things, and which is just useless whenever you reach down. Alright guys, what's the dumbest fashion trend you've ever seen? Let us know in the comment section down below or pin a favorite to the top. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!